When we talk to scientists about using next-generation sequencing instead of qPCR for gene expression studies, there are a few concerns we often hear. They're under the impression that NGS data analysis is complicated and that their lab may not be ready for it, as they don't have dedicated bioinformaticians, and they wonder if using NGS would make sense financially. Even though NGS involves high-tech equipment that can seem difficult to handle, the sequencing part of the workflow is the easiest one. You thaw the sequencing reagents, pipette your sequencing library into the reagent cartridge, insert your flow cell, and push the start button. From a cost perspective, many people are convinced that nothing would be more affordable than real-time PCR, especially if you run just a few targets on a few samples. But it turns out that if you scale up, a different trend emerges. At around 20 targets per sample, it becomes more cost-effective to switch to NGS. What about the sequencer itself? Even if you don't have funding for it, there is easy access to the technology through core labs and service providers. If your lab decides to buy a platform, Illumina has a wide portfolio to fit different needs, with the most affordable models costing less than most real-time PCR instruments. Historically, NGS data analysis has been a challenge, but as the technology is becoming widely adopted, a broad range of plug-and-play solutions are available on the market. These days, scientists can load their data into an app, like our RNA-Seq Differential Expression Base Space app, push the button, and within a half hour, get the first results. The app provides users with all the metrics and plots they're familiar with from real-time PCR. And it's even possible to compare the NGS data with qPCR data when you look at full change expression levels. When it comes to the skill set required for the lab work, it is no different from what you need for setting up a real-time PCR experiment. If you know how to use a pipette, mix reagents, and operate a thermal cycler, you know how to prepare samples for NGS. And because of the scalability of NGS, you can run a lot more targets in less time. Are you still sure your lab isn't ready to adopt next-generation sequencing?